welcome back. This is Butler Scooby with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Machu Archon, but that is not what his name will be in the match. We'll go over that when we get there. He is in the Platinum Division, ranked number one, 2,881 points, 405 wins, and 394 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the Northeast up against Machu Archon, whose name at the time was Recoil. Uh, this is the first time this has actually happened to me. When I went to go look for this player in my match history, I could not find it. it took me forever to realize, oh, the guy changed his name. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Because I cannot find a match where I ever faced a Machu Archon. I can only find this one, and this is in the spot where it must be. So, uh, the the map's the same, the time is the same. Uh, so I have to assume that it, this is the guy. If uh, one of you knows him and is, uh, wants to correct me, oh yeah, there's no way that's the same dude. Feel free to let me know, because as of right now, this is the guy that I'm going to assume that it is. The map is Steps of War. I don't think I mentioned that yet. This is my favorite map, even though, well, Husky Starcraft did make a um, a little video with uh, a GSL map, pretty much badmouthing Steps of War and Lost Temple and all of the maps. Uh, that is because this is not necessarily the best map for macro long games, but that's all right because I feel that it's one of the best ones in terms of the expansions. I think it's designed the m the best here, and that's why it's my favorite map. Not because of what kind of games get played on it, and when you're Husky Starcraft and you see games all the time, not in including a lot that are not yours, uh, you definitely get bored of it a lot faster than I would. Let's just say. He is saying a scout inside my base. I'm doing the same inside his. He's doing a good job here. I, I do love this strategy, putting two pylons right next to each other. That way this gateway is pretty much double charged here. It's not going to make anything go a little any faster. But if I do take one of these pylons out, uh, it will this gateway will stay up until I destroy the other one. That does ha That is my basic strategy when invading Protoss bases is just go for the pylons. Let's get these buildings down as fast as I can and instead of destroying the buildings, let's just destroy a pylon and as long as I can keep steamrolling, I'll have less and less resistance. I always hate this probe, the scouting probe, because he, he just goes in and around my base and it looks like he's just, oh, what is he doing here? Is, he's patrolling, isn't he? Oh, and that looks like he's... N yes, he is. Oh, I hate this so much. But Marine is going to chase him down, and hopefully I can get finish him off here. No! He got away. One more shot, one more shot. Come on, you can do it. Oh, but so he is going to be seeing that I do get a second Rax up. Is he going to select it? Oh, it doesn't look like he spots it. He goes right past it. He should know. There we go. There he clicks on it. So yes, he does know that there's a three Rex on the way. Meanwhile, he is going for his second gateway right now. Looks like that went up before he spotted my three Rex. So he's he didn't know exactly what I was going for when he went for that second gateway, but you can rest assured a third one is on the way because he did spot that. Warp gate technology is being researched, is being chrono boosted. Meanwhile, probes are continually being made. Same with my SCVs. So my 3 Rex is up. This is my favorite build on this map. It doesn't really matter what you go for on the other side. I will be going for 3 Rex because it works so well on this map. That might be why so few games go past, I'm going to say the, the 15 minute mark. Most games don't go past that in this map. But, you know, I could be wrong. You know, I, I honestly don't remember how long this game was. It might be past the 15 minute mark for all I can remember. 
but usually it doesn't go past the two bass play. You don't usually see a third or a fourth or even a fifth. You know, most of you don't even realize there's a fifth bass up here uh, guarded by rocks. Um, I know I've never actually expanded up there. I have played a couple AI opponents on insane mode. I have graduated up to insane mode and they tend to go for this expansion way the hell out here. I don't know why, so I have to send all my units in trying to take it out. A Twilight Council is on the way. Considering that we're seeing all these zealots, I have to assume that we're going to be seeing charged zealots, not blink stalkers. Oh no! Where is it? Here it is. Dark Shrine. God, I hate that thing. But looking at the income tab, I am slightly ahead right now, which is surprising. Uh, Protoss players should always be ahead. If they Chrono Boost just once, they should be ahead. Uh, let alone on the Harvester count, let alone the Minerals. He is a little bit ahead, actually, now that I look at it. But I am ahead in Minerals. Uh, but he's on two gas. He does need that for the Dark Templars. They are so, so gas heavy. Meanwhile, I am continually pumping out Marines and Mirage just now. Um, almost done with the stim pack. Uh, not getting combat shield yet, even though I can afford it. Don't know what's going on here. Looks like I'm not producing enough. I'll just start with the Marines right there. So there we go. Proving myself wrong once again. One Zealot is going to be coming out. He is going to spot my advancing army. He does not get a shot off. Doesn't look like. What's he doing? I don't see anything. He's just repositioning his zealots here. He does not have enough to force me back right now. He needs to get some warping in. He definitely has the, the resources for it. I'm stimming, trying to do a little bit of micro here. Uh, not doing too well at it, to be honest. But oh my gosh, Dark Templars are finally out. He was saving it for those guys. Am I going to be able to finish the last one? No! He gets away! So I got scanned, although it did its job, it didn't finish the work that I needed to do. Wait, did it? Hold on a second here. It looks like I killed him. Yeah, he ran back! What? What are you doing? You could have been in here somewhere. If you notice, I don't have an engineering bay. I'm getting the bunker up here just because if he goes for the Dark Templar again, I want to force him to use a warp prison in order to get that accomplished. Here come more Templars. I did not think he would have enough resources for it, but as you can see, he clearly still does. How much do those things cost? They cost 125 a piece. 125, 125. I always thought it was real cool how they did the the death animations when you slice people but yeah it, it does confuse me from time to time when I think oh that guy's still up still up oh no he's fallen over that's why his colors disappeared it's kind of weird two more gateways on the way looks like he w was gonna go for a robotics facility decided to cancel it never did research anything out of the Twilight Council but he just wanted to get that so he could get the dark shrine here does he have a you don't need a Templar Archives, do you? Apparently not, because he does not have one. Dark Templars continually be um, warped in. They come all the way from Ire. They are warped in. And what's this? He's abandoning the Dark Templars for Archons. What? Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but Dark Templars in StarCraft 1 they could be morphed into Dark Archons, which were a completely different unit from the regular Archons, and I believe they were mostly magic casters. I could be mistaken, it's been a long time since I played StarCraft 2. But I always kind of miss that, like, uh, so Dark Templars and High Templars can morph to be the same thing, even though they're completely different units. So, I don't know exactly what his strategy is here. Why wouldn't you stick with the Dark Templars? Force me to to build missile turrets, keep a raven with my army, all that good stuff. But no, he did not do that. Uh, I do have five racks up. Still not going for the expansion here. Uh, looks like I am going to try to secure that now, getting the missile turret up first because of those Dark Templars. But of course, he's only got one left. Is it going to be up in time? No. He starts doing damage, and he's not attacking the guy building the missile turret, but I dropped the skin anyways. He's coming in with his Archons. These guys are going down 
quite quickly. SCP doesn't know what to do anymore, so I'm telling him build a command center. It is late. As you can see, his has been up for quite some time. I was lucky that I took one out, and yeah, that was just a misclick, I'll be honest. Um, I tried to rally the barracks here, and instead I clicked the barracks to go there. It was strange. Yeah, not too proud of that moment right there. But anyways, I am a little bit high on energy at the Orbital Command. Stop producing SCVs because I am so oversaturated here. Uh, not so, but that will definitely be running out soon. Two starports are on the way, along with uh, Marines. No Marauders yet. Don't I don't know why. I should have Marauders as well. Uh, meanwhile, he is pretty much just going for pylons. It, he's got a ton of minerals. He needs to be spending that on zealots. Uh, looks like more Dark Templars are coming in along with a couple zealots. Uh, you're not going to morph those again, are you? These guys are permacloaked. Permanently cloaked. But why would you waste that for an Archon not knowing whether or not I was going to be able to scan you? Uh, that is why I have the high energy here, by the way, in case I do need the scan because of the Dark Templars. And finally, a robotics, robotics facility is on the way, along with a forge at the 14 minute mark. That is the dangers of going for the Dark Templars. Early in the game, it kind of shortchanges the rest of any sort of tech that you might be going for. Uh, stalkers, first stalkers of the game, it looks like, are out on the field. And he is chrono boosting the warp gates as you should. Look at that cooldown go down. What's he going to be using on? Well, a warp prism is on the way and dark templars. More dark templars. A few more zealots. Forge is just now finished. And like I said, warp prism. Just uh, kind of strange. Whatever. I, I still don't have any missile turrets in the back of either one of my base. That is not a smart move. I just have this one here and this one down here. Meanwhile, I'm doing an actually a pretty good job of mineral management here, but that is because I'm only on two base by this point in the game. I should be thinking about a third. I am not thinking about it yet. In fact, I still have two unused geysers. I am getting a raven simply because he went for the Dark Templars once again. He is keeping them with his army, which is a very smart idea. He is researching ground weapons level one upgrade. Meanwhile, my armor is almost done. Getting the armory, getting the second engineering bay. We should be seeing a few more upgrades out of me, but it doesn't look like I'm going to have enough gas to support that right now. I do need those two geysers up. And a war prism coming in with the rest of the army? I've never seen that before. A war prism moving with the army. What are you up to, man? What are you doing? And there we go! He goes instantly into Archons! I, I don't know what that is about. Going for Archons instead of sticking with the Dark Templars, why don't you just stick with it? If I was to move in, the Dark Templars would be a lot better than the, the, the Archons. I'm just saying, I mean, wait for me to scan before you just completely abandon the thing the entire strategy that you went for this entire game, or at least in the early game. He is going to be d taking down the rocks here, uh, trying to get a, a third base here. I don't normally go for this base here. I like to go for the high yield, get a planetary fortress, and that way I can get more minerals. As you can see, I have enough as it is. I am instead incredibly low on gas. Still not enough to get both upgrades at the same time, so really I, I don't go for it, which is a stupid idea. Really I should go, there we go, getting one, waiting for gas on the second one. Should be too much longer than that, should start as well, there it goes. First medevac is out in the game, it has a lot of work to do. Look at all that. You need to work. You're not going to have enough energy for all that. You need help. But there we go. I mean, he, okay, here's his first observer. His warp prism's out in the middle of nowhere. I, I can't say that I understand what's going on in this late game. It looks like once the Dark Templar rush kind of failed, he's either abandoned or didn't know what to do. 
I want to saturate here. I need that third base. I'm moving out. What am I doing here? Oh, I was moving out. Then I saw the observer, so I tried to tail it. It did not work. As you can see, it's queued up to go right in my missile turret's range here. So, War Prism. Oh, is it going to make it? No, it does not. Stimming up. And Raven is being focused down, it looks like, but by the time it was taken out, all the Dark Templars were gone. He GG's. Observer dies. And that's the game. So it was a very interesting game. I called this one Decent Reaction to Dark Templars because that's how I felt I did. It was a decent reaction. It wasn't great. It was decent. Once again, I uh, need that third base. I never think about doing that in time. It is way too late to be thinking about a third base right now. And as you can see, uh, when you're almost mined out of your main base, that is not the time to be thinking about your third expansion or third base. You need to be thinking about that a lot sooner. Uh, once again, five uh, barracks. Uh, doesn't seem to be able to, to handle my minerals. Uh, so I have a starport, siege tank, looks like I just stopped producing. There's no excuse for that, especially when somebody has Dark Templars. You never know when they're going to be spamming that across the map. Uh, he was on 6, 7, 8, 8 gate, and one robotics facility. That was making observers, not immortals. So, uh, different strategy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. hope you laughed. hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.